Hello again, everyone, and welcome in to another edition of our 2018 position breakdown of the Miami Red Hawk football team. Red Hawks getting ready for that season opener coming up on September 1st here at Yeager Stadium against the Thundering Herd of Marshall. I'm Steve Baker. This is head coach Chuck Martin and uh, coach today talking about the defensive line. We were kind of going through the roster here. You got a lot of guys in this position. You're deep at there, but you really have some talented guys up front that have been there and been through the wars for you. Yeah, we have some good experience um, inside, obviously, at the Nose guard with, with Nate Trawick, who's been a three-year starter, and then Mac Duffin, who's been a, a consistent backup, and, and Nate's played the best football of his life this, uh, excuse me, Duff played the best football of his life this spring, and is yeah. really excited about his, his last senior year. And then obviously Cal Cagnos played, Quinn's played a bunch of defensive end force ever since he's been here on ST and on defense. But it's really a youthful group, other than, other than three pretty experienced seniors. Right. Uh, you know, Doug Costin's coming back and he's been here for a couple years and started, but he's he's one of the few juniors. And then we got a bunch of young guys that we're right. excited about and we're not sure how it's going to shake down and it's hard to even evaluate as, as you're going through camp here and, and it seems like day by day, yeah. one kid's stepping up, one kid's not stepping up. And so there's a lot of good battles, but it's a youthful group. We're going to play a lot of kids up front. We're going to keep kids fresh. We're going to keep it competitive. But uh, we have some great senior leadership with those three guys and looking for big things out of them. That'll, that'll be something that I think will be interesting to see in the fall camp is the battle for those positions. Because as we're looking at the roster, there's a lot of guys there, and particularly on the ends. And you know, you're, it seems like the, the front two, the middle two are set. But yeah. the, those ends, there's a real battle for those positions. Yeah, and then even inside Isaac Hampton yeah. and is a young guy that we think can really be in the mix inside because you're going to rotate guys. Sure. And obviously, Absolutely. obviously at the end position, you got you got Josh Mays and you got uh, you got Elijah Watson and you got uh, Cam Butler and Sharp and Marsh and Kempler and Kelly Lake. You got so many guys that they're long, yeah. kind of like our tight ends, just a younger version of our tight end yeah. group. They're versatile. Yeah. They're long. We got to keep putting strength on them, but they all can run and, and they're all competing very hard. And that, and again, the defensive line is where you like you said you're going to run a lot of guys out there. Keep Keep them fresh and so everybody will get their shot during the season. No doubt. All right, that's our look at the defensive line of the Miami Redhawks. When we come back next time, we'll be talking about probably one of the best linebacking cores in the Mid American Conference. That's when we return here on our 2018 Miami Football Position Breakdowns.